Hey everybody, I'm Kenny with Generator Upgrade Supply. Today we have a special video. We're going to be going over our truly plug and play remote start and stop system. Now this installation kit should only take you about 10 minutes to install, so let's get started. Alright, first thing we're going to want to do is open it up. We're going to open up uh, the right side panel, the left side panel, and the front access panel. So to do that, we'll start on this side. There are two rubber grommets up here. Just go ahead and pop those out with the small flathead or your nail. And uh, that exposes two Phillips head screws. Remember my warning about using a drill and these screws. Go buy some because you're going to strip them. All right, next there is a screw. I'll bring you in for a close-up. Right on the front access panel here. This is going to be the one that unhooks uh, this panel from the front. These ones do come out. All right, next, to take this panel off, it's the most involved one, but you got to take these three uh, screws off here in the back. Now, you do have to take the wheels off. These are fairly simple. Give you a little close up here. These little hub caps. Just going to pop that off. Gonna reveal a cotter pin. Pull that up and out. Keep it inside the hubcap and a washer. Keep that inside the hubcap as well, and the whole wheel just pops off. Just keep that aside. Same thing on the front. However, on the front, one-handed here, washer, wheel, and you see that plate? That's the brake. So that just slides out. Very easy. Put those over with the other wheels and we're good to go. Okay, next we see these three bolts here. They are our trusty 10 millimeter bolts. So I'm going to use a Drill. One, two. Three. All right, after those bolts are out, this panel is ready to pop, just pop right off. Now it's going to be held in there by the pull cord. Just give the pull cord a little pull, give it some room, and that'll just hang. That's totally fine. Now we're ready to take the left side off here. Those, those screws do get retained. So again, just reach up, grab a hold, pop it out. Set that panel to the side. Okay. Now we're ready to take off the front panel. This front panel has six screws, as well as one inside the knob. Let's go ahead and take those out. And the one inside the knob just needs a little bit longer screwdriver. It's just a Phillips. All right, so once that's off, go ahead and take out uh, the knob. Keep, try and keep that screw in there. I just pop it up here. Go ahead and lay this front panel down. It'll just Lay down nice and easy, you don't even have to prop it up. 
All right, so let me show you what we're working with. Inside here is where we're going to mount our module, okay? This white connector here is where we're gonna hook up our power. This black connector back here is gonna hook up our remote stop. And then this uh, seven millimeter bolt right here, or this nut, is where we're gonna pull off and attach our ground, okay? The only other thing is this hole right back here this is where we're going to feed the green wire with the red connector to go back and connect. All right, first thing we're gonna do is unpeel the backing from the Velcro and then place the entire module all the way back. Weird angle. way back give it a nice little push seat that sticky back and that's good to go by the way if you notice a little blue light over here this isn't part of the generator it's just a little camera all right so next we're gonna take the uh, wires with the black connectors reach back here disconnect the black connector from itself we're gonna hook in the male to the female part. And they only go one way. And the male to the female, oh, the other one. The one back here is a little bit tight. Let me reach this way. And we're connected. So the stop is connected. Okay, next. These white connectors will go to this white connector here. There's only one on the front here. So just push that tab. It will disconnect. Again, same thing. Male into the female. And male into the female on the generator. And And we have power. Now, next, going to get our seven millimeter uh, ratchet and just unscrew this ground nut. Super small, comes right off. Ooh, don't lose it for a second. All right. Okay, so on these new kits, we went ahead and included a kill switch, a uh, master kill switch for the module itself. This is going to help uh, decrease the battery drain uh, on the main generator when this is on and in storage. Uh, there's a little blue light, so when this kill switch is off, that blue light's going to be off. So it's already going to come pre-wired into the module, and this is your new ground. So all you're going to do is take seven millimeter here and attach it right there saw the blue light go on and we can test it real quick off you see the blue light goes off on off. So where we're going to put this is there's a 12 volt DC um, outlet here that not many people use. Uh, if you do, that's fine. But here's the reset button for it. And this reset area is a perfect size for this toggle switch. So these just unscrew. So if you don't use this uh, 12 volt DC uh, you can use this reset button area if not and you want to keep this like it is 
you can get a 15 uh, or one quarter inch um, drill and just drill a hole anywhere anywhere on the face of this that you uh, think there's room right here is probably a good spot uh, and then the toggle switch will fit there as well so we take that reset button out and it's wired in there we don't want to you know disconnect it in case we want to put it back together so we're just going to leave it sitting back here with all the hardware All the hardware still on it and it's just, it's just going to sit back here uh, when we're using the generator so the toggle switch comes with a waterproof cover here as well as a little nut washer and then a nut and a washer that are going to stay on there so we want the on position it says on and off we want the on closest to the top of the front panel here. So just keep that up. That way up is on and down is off. So once you get that in place, just go ahead and screw it on with the washer. and the nut. Make sure it's still in the upright position and give it a little tighten. So up is on, down is off. Reinstall the waterproof cover. And that's your kill switch. One other thing, uh, just to make sure, this antenna is gonna come already outside of the module. So you're gonna wanna just uncurl it and pull it off to the left here and just make a little L little L shape that's gonna give you the most maximum range uh, when you're starting and stopping uh, the unit generators produce electricity electricity can uh, and does interfere with the RF signal so this is gonna allow you to get the maximum range out of it if you have that antenna uh, fully extended off to the left there Okay, the only other thing we have to do is fish the choke actuator cable through that hole that I showed you earlier, and uh, it'll come out the other side and I'll show you. Fish it through. And it's gonna go straight through this hole here. And come out right there right above uh, this bracket for the pull cord and then just pull it and you know, set it right here for now okay we're gonna go ahead and uh, install the choke actuator right above the starter here first thing we're gonna need is an 8 millimeter ratchet all right there's two bolts on the uh, starter here you're gonna to want to undo the top one with an eight millimeter wrench ratchet. Bolt. All right, it's a little bit longer of a bolt. Next, we're going to feed the choke actuator cable all the way through the top here. Let me show you where it's going. <clears throat> show you where it's going here. See right under the gas tank to the 
right side of this tube is where you're going to want to feed that cable. I'll go ahead and uh, put it in there. You can see it's going off to the right. Sweep it on over to the left. It should be close. What we'll do is we'll go to the other side. See it came right here. Just buff it right, right behind there. And this is what we're this is what we're going to want to be working on right here. So this is your choke, and I'm going to get. this side first. Uh, basically all you do is you move the spring and then lift up on the uh, cable here with the ball. Now this big part is going to always go towards the generator. So you'll take... Okay, so you can see we actually did away with the loop and what we're actually going to do is make sure the big hole is facing inside and we are going to just feed this you gotta push it a little bit it's a tight fit and feed it through that channel okay and that's just gonna rest there like that and then we're gonna take the choke cable go back here a little bit and same thing it's gonna go right on top through that channel Gonna move this spring. If I can do it with one hand, you can do it with two. All right, so you can leave them like that. I like to stick that ball just on the bottom there, and just like that, and it's good to go. Get the uh, remote. There it is. Got the remote here, and perfect. See how that engages all the way there. And that's it. Pre-cut and mounted onto this bracket. A good angle for it to go right directly back in line with that choke. So you'll see what we're going to do is hook the blue wire. This is going to be our ground for this application. You're going to want uh, pulling action. So blue is the ground, green is the power. Uh, in the kit, we have a lock washer. And so we're gonna do the bracket, uh, ring connector, lock washer, and then the bolt back on. So I'm just gonna put the lock washer on the bolt here. Feed it through the ring connector and get it started by hand directly in to the top of the starter. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up that uh, eight millimeter bolt on top of the starter that we started by hand. And nice and tight. One last part, we're gonna connect power to the choke actuator. Just connect those two connectors right there and they're fine just hanging right there. All right, so before we button her up, we wanna just check the choke actuator just to make sure it's working before we get everything all back up. So we're gonna go to the remote and hit the letter C C for choke, made it easy for you. And then come on the other side, 
make sure it's releasing. Let me show you that. So you can see pulls and releases. You can see the choke over there. Pulls and releases. All right, now that we know the choke actuator is working, we're ready to give it a full blown start. So what you're gonna do to start it is hold A and C. Make sure the knob is in the run position, okay? Start position is for your choke, and then you pop it up to run. But since we're gonna be remotely, manually doing the choke, we're gonna always have it at run. So you just hold A and C together, and then once you want it to stop, you just hold B until it dies. So A and C. We're running. And then hold B. And we're good to go. You got a fully functional, complete plug and play remote stop and start kit. All right, now it's all complete. I'm going to go ahead and button this up in the reverse order of how we took it apart. And I'll be right back. All right, we're good to go. You just successfully installed the complete plug and play remote start and stop system from Generator Upgrade Supply. Follow us on Facebook and YouTube at Generator Upgrade Supply and visit our website, generatorupgradesupply.com. Please let us know if you have any questions. We're here to help you generate better.